Hi everyone. So yesterday, um, in the video that I put out yesterday, I touched on something that I would like to expand on a little bit more because um, I really feel the Lord would want me to share a little bit more on that and also to pray for those of us who are experiencing that. And what it is, is, um, uh, you know, I was mentioning that, um, that when, when, so when somebody is transitioning or when God is closing a door and opening another door, sometimes it's not, um, sometimes it's not like a switch, you know, like um, you turn the switch on and off and boom, boom. It's like this. Sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes it's a, a process, like a few days or uh, a few weeks or well, that sort of thing. Usually like a, I would say days, weeks. I would say, you know, but what tends to happen is a pressure comes from somewhere and you feel pressured. It's not like you've never been pressured before. You've never, it's, it's not like you've never come under pressure in the past in, in that environment, but it just seems like this time, the pressure just seems like it's reached the tipping point. It's reached a point where you feel you don't have the you feel you don't have the grace it feels like the grace the grace is lifting the grace of our lord in that that that's always been there for you in that situation it feels like the, the grace is lifting almost as if um a, a, a way a picture i can give is um you know in the old testament where when the lord when the bible was this was telling us how the the israelites they were it says cloud by day and fire by night right so it says that they would rest and then the cloud will lift and start moving and when this cloud start when the cloud starts moving they start moving with the cloud they have to move with the cloud and um and you know and that's how they moved and that's how they they went along in um in uh, those those um years that they were in in the in the wilderness so it feels if i was to put it in a picture form it feels that's kind of a picture of what i'm trying to say so this is not to be mistaken with the saying when when people say you know when someone's is going through a trial or when somebody's in a um, in the wilderness and then people that you know somebody wants to cheer you and they say they say to you oh you know it's it gets darkest before it, it brightens up you know they say that the darkest hour and then it brightens that's actually not quite the picture i'm trying to convey here the picture i'm trying to convey here is more like um it's not, um, this isn't a, a pressure that you've never endured before. If, you know, it's been there all throughout the time you've been trusting God, that God would change your circumstances. You know, you've just been enduring and looking forward to God changing this, to God changing the circumstance for you. But there comes a time during the, the time when the Lord is going to shut, close a door and open a new door. There seemed to be a window where, you get where people can get really um, fed up and really uncomfortable or let's just say fed up it's like the, the cup is is overflowing now it's like the, the it's like it's tipped over now you know and um, like that's as much as you can take sort of thing it's, it's, it's just that little window you know and it can be quite a um a place to be in you know and and I want to bring this up because I want to pray for those people who are experiencing that. And also I want to bless the Lord. So I want to, I want you guys to join me in blessing the Lord because I, I feel that we need to bless the Lord. And, you know, do you remember in one of my videos, I said that we have to encourage each other, you know, we have to sort of have to help each other, you know, and, and uh, so maybe in this video we can, we can give God thanks for that, but also we can pray into that situation. And um, and I, I just want to say that I believe that uh, the the Lord's actually put me to to share this video with you. So I'm not uh, completely sharing it out of my own um, my own ideas. Although it was an idea that came to me, but I, I put it before the Lord. And as I'm speaking. 
I more and more feel the Lord's pleasure in it. So, um, so yes, I just wanted to say that. So, okay, so let's pray. And, and if I want to say more, I'll say more. So Heavenly Father, Lord, we bless you, God. Lord, I thank you that, um, yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that um, uh, Psalm 121 says, um, uh, uh, it says, uh, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. So, Father, I thank you so much that our help comes from you. I thank you, Lord, that you have um, planned the, this day and you've planned the days ahead for us. And we trust you, Lord. Father, we trust you. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we love you and we trust you. And we want to say thank you for all that you're doing. Now, Lord, Lord, I pray that... Um, the strong man is bound in our lives, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you um, that there's, there is an acceleration in what you're doing for us. Lord, I pray that you remember all the years that the enemy has contended with us concerning this promise, the promises that you have given to us and how the enemy even delayed and delayed. But Lord, you allowed it for such a time as this. I bless you, Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I give you glory. I give you thanks. I thank you, Lord, that um, you work all things for our good. And also you allow the enemy to um, to have a go at something so that in the end, you will we will actually reap more than we even sowed. We will, it, the, the, the harvest will even overtake us. You know, and the blessings will even o overflow and um, and overtake us and completely overflow because of your wisdom. So I thank you for that, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayers. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, let the keys begin to open doors for your people even today, starting even today, Lord. And Lord, those doors that you've been opening and those doors that you've been shutting, Lord, I ask that you grant us more understanding. And I'll say the prayer that um, Elisha uh, prayed for his servant when he said, Lord, open his eyes. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes to see what you're doing and grant us the grace to participate in what you're doing. Lord, and I pray that you help us to, to close our mouth and to only speak um, the things that are pleasing to you, Lord. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Father, for everything. Amen. So guys, so um, so basically, what it is is that um, sometimes, not not all not all the times, but sometimes when a door is closing and another door is open, there can be some discomfort. And also, the other thing is, there can be for some people, it can even be a little bit more extreme, where it almost seems as if they are yanked out of a situation and thrust into another situation. And the yanking seems very painful because it is, it, it, uh, sometimes it can be quite, you know, a real disruption, you know, it, it can be uh, d disruptive, you know, it can be quite a, an intervention, you know, and, and, it, and it, you know, it's dis discomfort and, un and uncomfortable and, and painful. But but God is intending because because it's some because sometimes we find that for some of us we're not hearing or we're not participating or we're we are not understanding and so the spirit of the Lord yanks somebody off of a situation or off of a uh, a circumstance and trusts them into their destiny into where He's calling them to be. I'll give you an example of that just to comfort you because I, I can sense some of you with a scripture, you can feel comforted, you know, and, and then it doesn't sound so violent, you know. But um it this happened to Saul um that in the old in the New Testament. The New Testament 
um, guy that used to be called Saul. And then, and then when this spirit, he encountered the Lord uh, on, on the road and, um, and he had a very, quite a very distressful experience, really. Um, the Lord interrupted his journey, basically. And, and then, and then, but that was to yank him out of his ways, his ways and trust him into his own destiny, into God's destiny for him. You see that? You see that? So, so that's an example of the sort of thing I'm talking about. And for some people that would happen. And, 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 uh, and another way that can happen, another example that is more tamed down could be suddenly there's a, a friction between you and, uh, and uh, your landlord or friction between you and um, the, the mortgage company or friction between you and your boss or, you know, it's just friction. And, and, and when that friction happens, usually you can endure. But in this situation, it just seems like you can't, you can't, you can't endure this. This is, it's like, yeah, it's like, okay, enough of this kind of thing. You're at that point where the Lord is doing something and, and I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm just letting you know that um, God is doing something for all of us. You know, those who identify with this particular video and those who don't identify with this particular video, all those who are called by his name, he's doing something for us. And, and this this year, you know, he really is doing something. However, however, this video is specifically for those people who are at that place where the the transition seems to be a little bit more of um on the, more of an uncomfortable situation you know um you just need to keep thanking god and keep um asking god to um to to tell you what he needs you to do and just keep yourself available to him and um and i'll be doing the same you know and also as you're getting uncomfortable offer it as prayer to the lord you know don't forget that sometimes pain is introduced um uh to make the person go into prayer you know there's a scripture that says um it says uh, pray pray without ceasing uh, without ceasing you know it, it says we have to um it says um offer God your 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 troubles and your sorrows and your everything take it before the Lord in prayer there are actually many scriptures that talk about that including the Old Testament as well so um so don't uh, despise it you know but um embrace God trust that God is doing something in this hour for you okay um because there's something happening and um and it's just a window it's just a window that there's uh, some friction sort of thing happening all right so um so yes I, I wish in a way i kind of wish this was one of those live videos because then i can see questions because I, I feel like i've said something that is important and and some people will identify with it but some people have questions and and they are genuine questions you know but then um, leave your questions in a comment section and i will prayerfully answer as many as i can okay um if you have any questions um, and of course i'll leave my email as well so you can uh, send me an email as well all right i'll see you guys have a good evening bye for now bye